So the Grammys, probably one of the biggest award shows in music and one of the highest achievements that artists can receive in their career. Many people are familiar with the big categories, best new artist, album of the year, song of the year, and record of the year. But what many people don't know is that there's actually 96 other smaller categories for pretty much every genre that you can imagine, and yes, that includes classical music. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five classical guitarists who have won Grammys over the years. I'm going to let you know the year, the album they won, the category they won, and of course, who the guitarist is. So if you want to find out more, stay tuned and let's get started. This first one is from the 1973 Grammys. The category is Best Chamber Music Performance. The record awarded was Together by Julian Bream and John Williams. So in my opinion, this record at the time was pretty monumental. For one, there wasn't that many big name classical guitar players playing, with the exception of these two. They were probably the biggest ones at the time, with the exception of Andres Segovia, who was a bit before them. I wasn't around back then, but my guess is that it was somewhat similar to the idea of Gibson vs Fender. Were you team John Williams or were you team Julian Green? And then they did the unthinkable and they combined forces and did two records, this one being the first, of them playing some duos together. These duos consist of music by Albanese, Granados, Anna Karuli, and a few others as well. I can say for myself that this record was the one that showed me what classical guitar duo music even was. Okay, so Grammy Award number two is from the 2004 Grammys with the category of Best Classical Crossover Record. The record was LAJQ's Guitar Heroes, and of course, that is by the Los Angeles Guitar Quartet. So the first thing I'll say is that if any guitar ensemble, quartet, whatever, is going to win a Grammy, it's going to be these guys. These guys have withstood the test of time being a quartet for quite a while, even if that means changing members. The great thing about them is that with every record they put out, it's always something different, always something very central to the theme. It's never just them playing traditional guitar quartet music, even though of course they do that very, very well. They've done collaborations with Dweezil Zappa and Pat Metheny, as well as a multitude of other artists outside of the classical music world. However, if I think any of their records would deserve the title of best crossover album, it has to be the one that won, of course. This one is pretty much an homage to all of their guitar heroes, regardless of styles. You'll hear things that are folk influenced, that are gypsy jazz influenced, blues influenced, and pretty much anything that you can think of. If you're a fan of all kinds of music and want to see how the guitar can pull those all off in a quartet setting, definitely go ahead and check this album out. Grammy number three comes from one of my favorite guitar players out there. This is from the 2004 Grammys, just like the last ones. The category was Best Instrumental Soloist, and the album was Ari Latino. If you haven't guessed it yet, the artist is none other than David Russell. To me, David Russell has always been what you could think of as traditional, but with a twist. He plays records where he plays the music of Augustine Berrios, the music of Troba, the music of Bach, the music of Albanese, and he does the hits that everybody knows and everybody wants to hear him play. But he also mixes it up by playing pieces and selections that are not that commonly played by these super well-known composers. I would say that this record is no exception and in a way a tad more unique. This music features the music of Latin America, as I'm sure you guessed by the title. He includes people like Jorge Morel, Augustine Barrios, and Hector Villalobos. However, he plays a few lesser known composers as well, and they have some great music on there. Go ahead and check it out if you want to hear some Latin American music, some of your favorites, and maybe some that you've never heard before. Grammy number four comes from the 2009 Grammys. The category was Best Instrumental Solo Performance, and the record was Journey to a New World. If you haven't guessed it, the artist is none other than Sharon Isbin. The 
not only has she made recordings by great composers like Villalobos or Rodrigo or Ponce, but she also goes out and does things that no guitar player has done before. I want to say that she's commissioned more works than any other big high name player. And she's also done collaborations outside of the classical guitar world with people like Stanley Jordan, Steve Vai, and Joan Bias. To me, Journey to the New World is just that. You have pieces by traditional people such as John Dowland, well-known composers like Andrew York, but you also have tons of pieces that were commissioned by Sharon to be for this album. Pieces that were even for her to play along with Joan Bias herself. If you want to hear classical guitar music in a slightly different setting, but is also still pretty close to home, I would highly recommend to check this album out. Okay, and finally, Grammy Award number five. This one is from the 2015 Grammys. This is one that probably most classical guitar players are familiar with. The category was Best Classical Instrumental Solo. The record was called Play. And if you didn't know already, the artist was Jason Vio. So this record was pretty cool for me because the summer before he won the Grammy, I actually got to spend a whole week taking master classes with him, seeing him in concert, and even just getting to hang out with him at a barbecue. So seeing him go up and win a Grammy after that was pretty cool, especially for me at the time as an undergrad guitar player. This record is described by some as classical guitar's biggest hits. You have pieces by Francisco Terriga, Leo Brower, Augustine Barrios, Ponce, Andrew York, and then to end the record off, he ends with his own arrangement of a Duke Ellington tune. Honestly, yeah, it is classical guitar's greatest hits, but you know, in my opinion, they're greatest hits for a reason. It's great pieces of music, and somebody like Jason is going to be playing them so, so, so well, that even if you're already familiar with all of these pieces, getting to hear him play them is part of the reward. Okay, so I just gave you all these albums and why they're so great, but I didn't really leave you with anything to connect to, or even any really solid, definite listening recommendations. But it's time to change that. If you go ahead and you look at the video description down below, there's going to be a Spotify link of a playlist that I made of my favorite selections of each of these albums. But more importantly, get to know the music and get to know the artist, and if you really like what you hear, go out and buy the CD from their website, from a place where they sell it, or go see them in concert. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to For the Classical Guitarists for more classical guitar videos. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.